Thank you very much for asking me to talk about our successes over the last two years. We have brought some 30 organisations together across the North East and North Cumbria. Uh, this has included our acute trusts, our CCGs, our mental health trusts, our ambulance services and members of the public. Urgent and emergency care is an incredibly complex system and we need to intervene in many different areas in order to improve our performance. Our CCGs and our Foundation Trusts have worked very closely together on this initiative. We have a strategic network which is jointly chaired by me and by a Foundation Trust Chief Executive. We have an operational network that brings uh, all of our A&E delivery boards together. We have a very strong clinical reference group uh, led by some of our emergency care uh, physicians uh, which again brings all of our clinicians together. It is important that we reduce variation and that we try and work in harmony across the North East and try and work together in order to solve some of our problems. We've run a number of initiatives. Uh, you have to begin with the population and to make sure that they make best use of the services that we have on offer. Uh, to do this, we have uh, beefed up our 111 service. Uh, we have a clinical hub that uh, will give clinical advice to people when they need it. Um, we have um, done a, a bit of behavioural analysis to try and understand why people use the services they do and this led to a very successful Plasticine People campaign that we ran over the winter. Once people move away from self-care and from accessing their GPs or from their pharmacies, um, we have uh, worked with our paramedics so that they can do more uh, see and treat uh, and, and uh, hear and treat um, to try and avoid people um, accessing hospital uh, services. Once people um, turn up in hospital, we've done a lot of work with our uh, Foundation Trust to help the flow of patients uh, through the hospital system. Once people have finished with their acute care, we've also worked uh, with our uh, Foundation Trust and with our social care partners to make sure that people can get home uh, as soon as possible once they no longer have a, a medical need. Some of our other initiatives include uh, Respond Mental Health Training, uh, training uh, professionals, um, the police, uh, paramedics, uh, what to do in a mental health crisis. We have developed an under five uh, app uh, for parents of, uh, of children so that they uh, know what to do when their children are ill. This app has been downloaded some 8,000 times and has been nominated for two national awards. We are also training uh, care home staff in the National Early Warning System and uh, in the prevention of falls. We have set up a flight deck which allows us to look at how busy all of our hospitals are in real time across the North East and allows our ambulance services to divert ambulances wherever necessary. We've improved our directory of services so that uh, 111 can direct patients more appropriately. We have also allowed 111 direct access to our GP appointment systems so that patients can be booked directly in with their GP when that is appropriate. I'm very proud of what we've achieved over the last two years, but there is still a huge amount of work to do. Although the North East and North Cumbria perform well uh, on urgent emergency care services compared to the rest of the country, we know that we can do much better. We know that by working together, by standardising what we do across the North East and North Cumbria, we can deliver real change working together in the future.